In this tutorial, let's see how to install and use LED Edit 2022 version. The download links are in the description. Once downloaded, double click and go inside the compressed download file and you can select extract to and select a destination folder or you can double click on the setup file inside the compressed file uh, it will ask for the permission click on yes click on next and if you want to select a different folder as the installation path you can click on browse and select a location all right and then it will ask for the start menu folder if you have a different start menu folder you can click on browse and select a different start menu folder click on next you can select to create desktop shortcuts or quick log shortcut to LED edit software I'm going to leave them as default click next this is the setup summary click install all right Make sure you are connected to internet. If you need to update the software, click on finish. This is the update window or dialog. Click here to inst install the update. Click here to cancel the update. I'm going to update it to the latest version. All right, it will ask you to, do you want to restart the application? Click on yes. All right, now we have installed the latest version of LED Edit. Double click on the LED Edit desktop icon. The first thing you need to do is to create a new project. Click on file and select new. It will take you to the new project window. Select the pixel LED controller model from this list and you can type the amount of pixels per port right here you're going to use or you can change it later if you want to and then you can select a location for the project file click OK the next thing is to create a layout a pixel LED layout click on edit layout I will take you to the layout creator window we have discussed the different methods you can use to create uh, different type of layouts in our previous tutorials if you like to know more about creating layouts check out my previous tutorials I'm going to use automatic layout creator which can be used to create the square or rectangular shaped panel layouts going to create 32 by 32 panel layout you can select the connecting pattern from this list the connecting pattern you select here should be the connecting pattern of the final product all right you can change the XY intervals I'm going to keep it to zero you can change the amount of pixels per port right here if you already have a layout created you can use this radio button to connect the previously created layout to the new layout using by clicking on this or you can click on this one to create a new part for your new layout click ok now you can place it anywhere in the worksheet as you can see p1 we have 1024 pixel LEDs in port 1 okay now click on save and close the LED edit layout creator the next thing you have to do is to select program click on program tab you can create new programs by clicking on add and type a name for your program and click ok it will add a new program to your list if you want to delete a program click on delete if you want to clear the recorded effects 
Inside these programs, click on clear recorded effects. The next thing is to select a uh, effect file and record the video or the effect. Click on effect tab. Now you can see you have several options. You can open a video file. The supported file formats are listed here. Okay. And or you can select use a library that comes with a lady edit. Right here you have different libraries. If you want to add new effects to your library, select the effect library button and browse for new effects. All right. Now, as you can see, we have added new effects to the library. All right. You can double click on the effect file. You will see the playback in your panel layout right here. Okay. Once you've selected your effect file of the video, the next thing you need to do is to record the effect. You have two options. You can manually record the effect by clicking on recording and once uh, it start recording you can click on stop recording to stop the recording of the animation this is uh, this number will display the current frame and the total number of frames in the animation or the effect i'll show you how to record manually click on recording once you click on the recording button you will see the total number of recorded frames right here. I'm going to click on recording. As you can see, this number is increasing. Once uh, the amount of frames that I want to record is reached, I'm going to click on stop recording. Now we have 320 frames recorded. To see what has been recorded, click on play button right here. If you want to stop the playback, Click on close video capture and I'm going to play the recorded. This is what has been recorded in my animation. Now, if you want to stop the playback, click on pause. If you want to edit this recorded animation, you have several tools here. If you want to cut frames, you can use this cut. You can input a number. Let's say I want to cut uh, from 200 last frame. 320 all right i'm going to cut that frames as you can see now i only have 199 frames recorded if you want to paste click on paste and you can uh, select the last frame or the first frame using these two buttons or you can input a number let's say i want to paste the frames uh, after let's say 100 frame and I'm going to click on OK. Now, as you can see, you have 320 frames again. Let's play back to see what will happen after 100 frame. As you can see, after 100 frame, we have the pasted animation clip. If we want to delete the frames, you can use the delete option right here. Let's delete the pasted frames it is 102 right. like okay to delete the frame that is one of the ways to record or capture the animation the other method which is a very quick method is to select the animation once the playback start you can use this fast recording video option it will automatically record the animation as you can see we have 127 frames recorded if you want to record the animation again click on the animation again double click on the animation again and uh, click on fast recording video once you're done recording your animation the next thing is to export effect file to export the effect file click on export and click here generated led slash bin files all right, which will bring up this export window. In the chip selection, select the chip number or the model number of the chips. These are the model numbers of the pixels. In my case, it is WS3. 
2811. You can change the gamma factor right here. I'm going to use 1.8. You can change the brightness for each channel using these sliders. You can change the channel order using these drop down menus. Click on OK to export the effect file. All right, you might ask where is the effect file. It is located in the documents folder. Go inside the LED edit underscore K folder. You'll see LED folder. Go inside the controller one folder. As you can see, we have two effect files. One for the program one and other for the program two. Copy these recorded files to your SD card. Insert the SD card to the computer. Send these effect files to the SD card. That's how you program pixel LEDs using LED Edit 2022 version. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you like my channel, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial.